All right, trying to decipher this harness more, I started taking it apart a little bit, and I found that this relay is in fact the relay for the power uh, that runs the MoTeC. So I'll be able to use my AmpLink um, PDM here and use the uh, uh, replace this relay um, with that, which is good. Next, I just need to clean up a few things. This is going to the um, fuel pressure sensor, and it's got an extra ground. Um, I don't know why we just have an extra ground, but you can see it popping out of the harness kind of right back there. Um, so I'm going to try to integrate that with the other grounds in, into in the harness here, and then. This is for the uh, boost control solenoid, and it has a, a black wire that goes all the way back to here, which is the grounded uh, trigger, I believe. And this is what the ECU will control it with, is this ground. But this power has its own, basically looks like great to the battery source. So I think I'm also going to extend that lead. You can see it only, it's way too short. I'm gonna extend that into the power when I make this connection and try to clean that up a little bit. Another issue I had is I left this wired in the slud, key off probably a week, and it was completely dead and now it only registers six volts. I'd been trying to maintain it and you can see it was installed and you know, it's pretty old, five years old, but um, really weird that that just went to six volts. I hope there wasn't something wired incorrectly. This relay that I couldn't figure out did come in MoTeC kit. Um, when I look at the picture real close, I do see it. It's to prevent wiring the positive and negative terminals of the battery and blowing the fuse. So I'm debating on taking this out because with my Amplink PDM, um, I don't need that protection anymore. It's going to be built into that unit. This is the other end of the harness. Again, this is where you plug in your um, UTC adapter for your USB to plug in your computer, but these guys are just big and thick in these little um, um, modules. One runs the ignition, one runs the uh, CAN converter, so it converts the CAN bus message to K-Line, I believe, uh, which is what the Apex uses to talk to the dash. But again, I gotta hide all of this in a space um, that's smaller than my hand. Okay, quick demo of the amp link. I've got it temporarily wired up here where I've got my voltage meter hooked up to output number one. This is what's going to power the MoTeC. So, and then that's going to be powered by this trigger, which is key on positive. Uh, as soon as I connect that to the battery, you're going to see it connect. And then we're going to connect the app and show you that. Now the unit's got power and essentially it's ready to go. I'm going to set up my amp link. I should scan and let's see how it shows my status right now. I've already set up my MoTeC power uh, icon. It shows off. As soon as I turn the key and push it and it sees 12 volts, you can see the MoTeC power kicked on. I've got 12.7 volts here off the battery and it's uh, ready to go. Now I programmed a two minute delay. So when I remove my power, I remove the key, this is the key power, you can still see it's on and I've got 12 volts and it holds that for two minutes. This is going to be great when I shut the sled off, uh, look at the map or do something on the trail, turn it back on, I'm not rebooting and unbooting the, the unit um, over and over and over again uh, consecutively. Probably not as critical for the MoTeC, that unit's designed for that, but it, it will be very critical for my Raspberry Pi um, installation of the, of the dash uh, where it's booting on an SD card. So pretty cool. I love this Amplink setup. You can see I've got lots of outputs here. A uh, quick review of the setup. I went into MoTeC. Um, you can set up the um, amp limits, uh, which is 20 amps. And then you've got all these AND triggers. So AND trigger one is going to be my keyed uh, source. And I can do an OR. So you can do an OR trigger. And again, wiring them up to different trigger outputs, which are very clearly labeled on this harness. It's really nice. Um, and, then, and then here's where you can set your delay. You have a zero delay on startup and a, like a two minute delay for off is what I have right here. So this is really cool. Um, my fuel pump, 
like now I got it set to 18 amp limit and then again triggers uh, if I go to trigger on right now I have it set to none if I select trigger one I go back I go to my monitor then this once it sees trigger one which is this this lead again I touch the positive on the battery terminal the fuel pump kicked on so pretty neat uh, setup um, so I have a seven second delay on I need to get rid of that so to do that you just come in here hit zero and then go back to my monitor now if I take this off fuel pump shuts off see that turn the key back on fuel pump powers on shuts that off fuel pump stops pumping pretty cool the other thing that I really like about this is when I'm gonna go drain my tank in the in the uh, spring I'll be able to come in here put a two minute timer on this thing turn the key and it'll continue to pump my fuel pump and pump my train my tank dry which I think is gonna be really nice uh, since I'm running Torco and you're not supposed to store Torco for long periods of time it can gum up your stuff your tank and stuff so I plan to empty it every spring put fresh 91 in it store it and then before I go out, I'll put fresh uh, Torco in that tank of fuel uh, the next fall. So this is going to be, this PDM is new technology for me. And I'm just playing around with it. And so far, I just think it's great. All right. This white wire, the mystery wire, I finally figured it out. Um, this is for, or was wired to a nine position Motec rotary switch. It's a potentiometer basically that allows you to hook it to fuel trims ignition trims or boost trims so at the turn of a knob you can manipulate the signal that uh, the solenoid or the um, injectors or the ignition uses and you can actually scale it just without having to interact with the Motec with a, with a computer so um, now that I know what it is uh, I'll be able to use that for something I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure yet but I'll figure that out another piece I need to integrate still is the uh, CAN bus wiring for my Raspberry Pi dash that's going to go into this um, K-Line um, connector here. Uh, so my CAN bus wires are these uh, black and or the green and, and white ones. And I'm going to integrate into them. I'm going to run that into the loom. And I'll probably come out here uh, with this and then send, that, send this up to the dash uh, to the Raspberry Pi. And then that will communicate all of the data that the uh, MoTeC has seen. Uh, real time. All right, got my amp length pretty much sorted here. This is going to go to the positive on the battery. This will go to the negative on the battery. These will run down into the amp length. So that'll be power and ground for the whole system. I got my circuits coming out here. Made a nice little weather pack connector, waterproof connector for this, which will connect over into this MoTeC connector. Uh, I decided to run the ground into this pin right here to uh, be able to just run a uh, power and ground on those two open pins there uh, to run my dash. So this will all be in one four pin connector. And I'm gonna call that done for now. All right, took a break from the harness. Uh, got to play with these new um, CNC machined mounting brackets for the MoTeC. You actually, the, you remove the two factory ECU screws there in the bottom and the bracket just slides over and it's gonna add a nice little uh, stable surface that I can mount um, the unit to. Also going to mount this on rubber isolation pads. These little isolation pads just screw in to the bracket which has been threaded and um, will isolate the unit from vibrations which MoTeC highly recommends. So um, I'll be able to screw this down to my plate and then secure it with a nut and that should be a really good mounting solution for it. I purchased these from t1racedevelopment.com so thank you guys for a really nice, high-quality product. Let's get this thing in the sled.